All right, we're here with another actor, Anthony Farrow, everybody, and he's on a, a great movie that's going to be coming out. You were telling me about it. Actually, yes, uh, April 28th, uh, uh, my friend Joe Gowalis made a, a wonderful movie called The Breaking Point. It has a couple of known actors in it, like Joe D'Onofrio from Bronx Tales and Sopranos. Willie DeMeo just did a movie with John Travolta, uh -huh. uh, a new John Gotti movie. Right. And uh, I've just had two movies released on iTunes and Amazon Prime. Cool. One of them's called A Rabbi, A Priest, and an Ex Goomba, okay. which is sort of a Bernie Madoff story where a Jewish guy gambles away all the bank's money. He right. goes to his rabbi friend and said, look, you got to cover me. I want you to rob the rest of the money so the FDIC reimburses us. Your crew will make money and nobody will know that I lost all the money in the bank. Right. right. Uh, I also have a movie called Group Therapy that's being released right now on ITN. I don't know if you remember Stuart Alice and ITN Ooh, distribution. Yeah. So it's been a good year so far. I mean, it, it, it's funny. I've been doing this for quite a while, but in the last... Um, five years I've done ten, ten movies and and four of them are coming out back to back okay this you know next few months which for an actor that's good they get all that momentum at one time instead of being you know it, it helps a little yeah, bit yeah yeah no I know I know but that's good though you, you you're um excuse me and of course I owe a lot of it to JT JT town yeah. he was my one of my first managers he's a good guy he's got, got a good heart he right, looks out right, for everybody yeah. and uh, yeah. it's all good you know it's all fun yeah, well, listen, if you don't have fun with it, you, you Well, not. that's what it's all about. I worked construction all my life. When I turned 50 uh, and, you know, all right. your buddies are starting to drop well, so and start following So let me ask you something. Passion. Like, I know there's a lot of people that want to go into acting and stuff like that. What What was your turning point? Like, what made you? Well, I actually started when I was a kid. My first few movies I did, my first one with that uh, was called All the Marbles with Peter Falk. Okay. My second one was in uh, Six Weeks with Dudley Moore and Mary Tyler Moore. Wow. And my third one was Emilio Estevez's first movie called um, uh, In Custody of Strangers with Martin Sheen. And wow. so what happened was in the movie, he gets in trouble. Instead of him getting the judge to release him to his parents, Martin Sheen wants to teach him a lesson and puts him in prison, or puts him in jail for 30 days to teach him a lesson. And he goes through a real hard experience and comes wow. out worse than if he would have just went home. So when I went home that day, I told my father, he goes, what'd you do today, son? I said, I was in a movie, I was looking for a job, there was a fight, I had to break it up. He goes, you know what, tomorrow we're gonna do something new. I'm gonna take you for a real job, and I worked in the Carpenters Union for like, like 30 years, oh, until I turned 50. <laughs> he and didn't I, believe in you. No, he didn't, I was getting calls wow. all the time. He made me take the heart, he made me work all he my life. All, I could have yeah. been mounting. Well, you know what, train. sometimes it's meant to be too, you know, because if, say you made it as a star, you might have been all, Crazy and well, you know, you have a good point because I got all that out of the way yeah. when I was younger. So now that I'm more and plus, mature, right? You're more, you're, you're, if you're I make it big, it, I'm right. ready for it. I don't yeah. not gonna blow. It's not it like all. somebody said, "Oh, you didn't work for you. You didn't." You know, there's a lot of. I see that a lot with actors. It happens. And stuff, you but know. I'm also, I yeah. make movies too. I make micro budget films. So I'm uh -huh. also an executive producer. And I just love it. So, what I, oh, so I don't uh, care if I'm. You do executive producers. I have some. I, I want to speak to you yeah, about I'm something. I'm an executive producer on a couple movies. I'm actually a DP. Wow, I have I something really good I want to talk well, we'll, to you about. We'll okay. talk later. But I, I appreciate yeah. your time. It's, it's always nice yeah. to see everybody growing. That's the thing about it. You yeah. never know who, oh, yeah. who you are today. Do you remember, I don't know if you remember back, Talent and Motion magazine and all the magazines. Well, anyway, I did a lot of with JT in the beginning of time. Oh, you did, you look very familiar to me. Yeah. I don't know if I see another number. Well, TV, I'm always on. I have my own TV. Who do you like TV? Oh, yeah? That's I do cool. my own stuff. I have everything. a big audition. I'm hoping for Tuesday. That's big. Like, I'm a SAG actor. It'll be my first big one. I actually got a... Uh, uh, what you call itinerary to actually different locations in different countries. To me, that's like a dream. Everything wow. paid for, the yeah. hotels, flight. Wow. So you know what? Yeah, no, you focus. Great, you keep the focus. You keep pounding the pavement. You keep going forward. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing on the um, March 30th? I'm doing a show at the studio. It's going to be. I nice. give you my card. You give me yeah. a call. I come down and see you. Yeah, I'm, I, I like to yeah, support I like, I like everybody. Your... I support everybody. Yeah, no. And hopefully no. on the 28th, you'll all be supporting me and come out to. Uh... The, 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 yeah, I will. The, I will. The, the theater and the twenty eighth uh, of May, uh, April. 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 Yeah. Joe yeah. yeah. Wallace has filmed the Breaking Point. It's going to be a biggie. It's going to be good. Uh, I, I, I wish you the best of luck with it. You know. Appreciate hey, listen. It's got something's got to churn the wheels. You know. It's not just that. Listen, you could be a, like you could be a great actor, but if the movie doesn't make it, the, it's the movie that. Well, how about this? Did you see vinyl? Did you watch vinyl? 
Yes. I'm the guy on episode 10 that's in the, that lets uh, Ray Romano in the social club, and, and I go whisper in, in Robert Finero's ear, and he okay. tells Armin Garo, and then I open the door, I let Ray Romano, this is my big break. Oh. And what happens? They canceled season two. They made me so featured, wow. they had to write me in on season two. And boom, that's it. That's the way it goes oh, sometimes. Yeah. But you know what? It was still nice. It's funny, the guy, I, the, the thing I wanted to tell you about is the same thing that happened to this guy, but I'll explain That's it. my second one. I also did a big sizzler for HBO with Michael Ryan. And Harry Lennox from Blacklist and all that. It came out wonderful. They had some they had some reservations about Michael Wright because he has a crazy life. They want to make sure he was going to get through 60 episodes if you're doing a, a series, and they right. didn't think he could deliver that. So that was the first break that went. So now you know three times the charm. I think it's wow. around the corner. That's just, that's amazing. It's amazing how many things you go through, right? Yeah, it's, it's not I work with, I work with all of the, I play drums for half of my life. You know. On the road, right. Chuck Berry, both all the legends of rock and roll, and I did a lot of. So I know what you, I know what you go through in the, in the business and that. And that Thank you. Nice yeah. talking to you. I yeah. Appreciate the interview. And, and we'll you. talk later. I'll talk to you. Right. I wanted to talk to you about that. All right. Thank you. Anthony Farrow, everybody, great actor. Uh, and we'll see. You'll see him in. Uh, Next, this year I'm sort of unknown. Next year I'll be swatting off the paparazzi. <laughs> there right? you go. Let's, let's yeah. hope so. It's all all the same, right? All right. All right. Thanks, Anne.